Hey yo, hey yo, my name is Kenyanito Africana and today I want us to talk about King Leopold of Belgium. So we are going to talk about King Leopold in Congo. In 1880, between 1885 and 1908, King Leopold II ruled Congo, the, which is now called DRC, with an iron fist. King Leopold was granted the permission to run DRC Congo as his estate. And who do you think gave him uh, a whole country to run? It is the European powers uh, during the Berlin Conference around that period of the Berlin Conference. As you remember, the Berlin Conference happened in 1884, and between 1884 and 1885. So they granted him the rights to use Congo as his personal property. And the funny thing is that King Leopold promised to, the reason as to why, he said he was going to Congo is to bring civilization and uh, human rights, civilization and human rights uh, for the betterment of the lives of the people of Congo. Is that what he did? No, of course. Leopold, during his uh, about 20 years as the, the owner of Congo, he forced villages to collect rubber. And those individuals who did not meet their quota, what did he do? He cut off their hands and feet and killed some of them. Estimates suggest that around 10 million people died in the hands of Leopold which caused the European powers, which granted, grant, gave him Congo to reconsider their decisions. And they told him, now you have gone too far. And his reign came to an end. The funny thing is that it so happens that uh, Belgium is the, is, the, is the headquarters of NATO and the uh, European Union. Are you getting the point? And the, the, it, the, as I'm speaking to you right now, there are still statues of uh, King Leopold in Belgium. Some claim that there are about uh, a dozen of them. There is even a statue in, in, in the capital of Belgium, that is Brussels. So that is it. I just wanted to let you know that the Congolese suffered a lot during uh, King Leopold's the second time. My name is Kenyanito Africana, and goodbye.